what it do today i'm gonna talk to y'all about why y'all should wait before you get any kind of hellcat like a hellcat uh truck track hawk charger challenger uh durango i'm just gonna tell y'all why you should wait i know you're like come on t like how you gonna say wait and you got this darn trx i'm gonna just explain to you why you should wait probably be a good time for you to wait i'm gonna try to save you some money you know what i'm saying look at it this thing all it do is drink for all those who want to know the trx all this bad boy do is drink 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 but let's get to the video i'm about to explain some things to y'all i'm about to help y'all out as you know a lot of people want hellcats you know hellcat is the thing right now everybody want to get a hellcat everybody want to get that fast hellcat especially you know trying to keep up with the joneses but when you keep up in the, with the joneses you can put yourself in a bind is what i'm saying i don't want to see y'all get put into no bind especially the younger guys you know i'm not no i'm not as young as y'all i'm young but i'm not young if you know what i mean you know so what i'm saying is i know you want the hellcat right now i know you do and i know you're like come on t t like you in a trx man you in a trx and you telling me not to get a hellcat right now i i definitely am telling you that but the reason why i'm telling you not to get one is when you get it you're gonna be like hold on let me let me uh get the gas to hump off and then we'll continue 13 gallons in this bad boy cost me 50 dollars 50 dollars to put 13 gallons in it and i didn't even that, that's a that was like a quarter tank of gas quarter tank of gas at 371 we in indiana but i'm gonna get back to this video. all right this bad boy up before we continue with the video big trx baby big trx action but uh like i was saying man i know you want you hellcat a lot of y'all got scat packs right now and you trying to upgrade to the hellcat i did the same thing but let me tell you something for the first month you're gonna love the hellcat it's gonna be yeah, like so i was saying a lot of y'all got the scat pack and uh you thinking you need to upgrade to the Hellcat. I mean, I can't tell you not to do that because I did that. You know what I mean? I did that. I got it. I had a scat pack. Actually, I had an RT and I upgraded from the RT to the scat pack. Then I went to the Hellcat. And then I went ahead and I got rid of my Hellcat and I got a ZL1. Now I'm in the TRX. But what I'm saying, why I'm telling you is the weight is you're going to get that Hellcat and you're going to be excited for it for the first month. I'm telling you. You're you going to always be excited. But what I'm saying is you're going to get used to that power too. You know what I mean? And then that payment going to sit in. What do you mean that payment? You know, because usually Hellcats cost a lot of money. Your Hellcat payment probably going to be well over $1,000. You're probably going to be paying about $1,300, $1,400, probably more than that. I'm trying to give you the benefit of the doubt and give you good credit because I don't know if your credit good or not. Your credit could be trash, trash, if you know what I mean. But what I'm saying is, I'm in Martins right now for those who want to know I'm in Martins. But uh, what I'm saying is when that payment start to set in after a couple months, and you get to looking at that car, you're going to love it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody going to be cheering you on. Like, oh, you got the cat. You got the cat. You got the ring. But that payment going to kick in. Then you're going to be like, dang. Is it even worth it? Believe me, I know. Because sometimes I'll be looking at my payment. I'll be like, damn. Is it even worth it? It's like, man. You paying all that money for, for, for a vehicle. Damn near a mortgage payment. Some people paying a mortgage payment on these bad boys. All just so you can go to Cars and Coffee or uh, your neighbor, your your, your 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 city car show and get a couple oohs and ahs. You know, that's all you're going to get, a couple oohs and ahs. You ain't never going to get no more than a couple oohs and ahs. It ain't going to be no, man, you the coldest person in the world. Then you got some people, they get these vehicles. Oh, man. I'm going to have to go around. Some people get these vehicles and they try to start them a YouTube channel or something like that, you know. Which is cool, you know, if you're gonna have a vehicle like this, you might as well make it pay for itself, but they think they're gonna get that success overnight just because they got a Hellcat. They think they're gonna get success overnight. Like, oh, I'm gonna get me a Hellcat, red eye or something, and I'm gonna get success overnight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the biggest YouTuber in the world just because I got a Hellcat. Newsflash! Hundreds of thousands of people got damn Hellcats. That's not nothing special no more. Like. What you want to get these cars, you want to get them when they first come out. Like, soon as they hit the, hit the, hit, soon as they can't became available, you would want to get one. Get one now. It's still cool, you know. Everybody love Hellcats, but you can't, don't think you're going to grow a following just because you, like, got a Hellcat. Don't think you're going to get a uh, 100,000 people following you just because you got a Hellcat. That ain't going to happen. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being real with you. That, sh that ain't going to happen. That's not going to happen. Just because you got a Hellcat does not mean people are going to follow you and uh want to watch you yeah they're gonna want to watch you for a few seconds you know just for a few a few videos basically because you got a um 
you got a, a Hellcat. But after that, the nostalgia is going to wear off. They're going to be like, man, okay, he, he got a Hellcat. What are you going to do with it? Now they're going to ask you to modify that bad boy. That's going to cost you some money. You're going to want to make it faster. going to cost you money. That means modifying it. You're going to have to keep your audience engaged. So you're going to have to do more than just wake up and do a cold start and talk about your Hellcat. And it, I'm just saying it's going to... It's not what you think it is, though. You ain't going to be a superstar nine times out of ten just because you got a Hellcat. That, that rarely happens. That's like a tall guy thing. You know what I'm saying? He was one of the rare guys, the homie in the Hellcat. Those are like rare guys that that happened to. That doesn't happen to most people. Hell, I've been doing YouTube for four years, and uh, I only got 8,000 subscribers. So what I'm telling you, it's a grind. So don't just think it's because you get one of these cars. Oh, man, I got one of these cars. You know, just because you think you got one of these cars or trucks or SUVs, you're going to be... A superstar so what i'm saying is before you make that big decision to make the payment on that get you a hellcat stop and think is it worth it because interest rates is through the roof says the guy that just bought a trx i mean i got great credit so my interest rate ain't nothing like the next person but you know, I mean the interest rates through the roof you know the economy ain't the greatest right now you know even i can even i sometimes say come on man why you buy that truck you ain't had to buy that truck you could have just kept your damn zl1 and been happy with that but i wanted the truck so bad i just had that i had to have it i wanted this car this truck because you know i live in a winter climate for one and uh the um zl1 was it it wasn't feasible for what i what i needed for like in the winter time it snows so that's why i got this truck just trying to give you a little quick little you know overlay but what i'm saying is when you get these kind of cars, it's a lot of responsibility, man. Big car payment, insurance through the damn roof. It's just expensive, man. It's probably best to wait because if you wait, I do believe it's going to be good deals on these vehicles. If you just be a little patient, you know, take a deep breath, calm down. You ain't got to get it right now. Some of them, like trucks like this, the TRX, they don't, they make them, make them, but they don't make a whole lot of them. So they always going to be up there. But the Hellcats, they gonna start to drop, you know. Even TRX is gonna start to drop, but I don't see none going under sixty five thousand. You know I mean, but maybe one with high mileage or something maybe go down cheap. But they always gonna be high priced. Even Hellcats gonna be high priced, but they're not. They're gonna start dropping pretty soon. You are gonna start seeing Hellcats in the fifties, and I'm talking about wide bodies. You know what I mean? But you just gotta be patient, and you know, just wait your turn. Wait your turn. Wait your turn. Don't jump into a thirteen hundred dollar uh, car payment. You know, I seen one guy, he said he paid like $2,000 for his Hellcat. And it's not even a red eye. It's just like a regular Hellcat. I seen him on YouTube, man. Bless his heart, you know what I'm saying? But $2,000 for a Hellcat, regular boy? He said, I guess, I guess he said it's going to hold its value. No, they're not. That's a lie. No, they're not. It's a mass-produced vehicle. I started to bust your bubble. It's a mass-produced vehicle. The likelihood of that Hellcat being worth a lot of money in the future, it's, it's slim to none. You're going to have to have pretty much zero miles. You're not going to have pretty much zero miles. You're going to drive the shit out of it. So, you know, you're not going to be no low mileage type of person. So, that's going to end all. That is not going to be worth a lot of money. You got to make sure you keep them in pristine condition with pretty much low mileage, under a 1,000 miles. And uh, so, stop thinking it's going, oh, man, if I just wait and be patient, I'm, I'm, I'm go, my car going to be worth some money. But yeah, so I just want y'all to be a little more weary, man, and not be so quick to just jump into a vehicle because now it's not the time, if you know what I mean. It just ain't the time right now. So I'm basically just forewarning you. I'm looking because somebody was looking at my whip. I had to make sure they weren't on that crazy stuff. But I'm just trying to forewarn you. I just want you to just be patient. If you got a scat pack, stay in your scat pack. If you got an RT, stay in your RT. If you got a GX, uh, what's a GX? A GT, stay in your GT. I mean, if you got a uh, regular Hellcat, stay in your regular Hellcat. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no sense of you having to uh, jump out of that regular Hellcat to jump in the red. I just be patient. Uh, things going to get better. Time's going to get a little bit better. But right now, I would not advise you to get uh Hellcat. Where did homeboy go? I finna say Playboy. <laughs> you maybe get out there and put the fisticuffs on you. But uh yeah, I just wanted to touch bases with y'all, man. 
jump out the TRX. I'm finna go in here, run in here and buy my fiance a birthday gift. It's her birthday today, so I gotta buy her a birthday gift. But uh, we gonna jump on up out the TRX, man. We gonna run on in the store. Let y'all see it before we go, man. There we go, man, the big boy TRX. Hopefully, man, y'all having a good day. Y'all blessed. And with that being said, man, I'm going to slide on up out of here, man. Much love to y'all. Y'all stay safe. Peace. I'm a satin apple, be lonely. Be the fan, that's what they call